In this video, we are going to solve uh, problems involving finding the equation of the parabola determined by the given conditions. So let's have the first problem. Find the equation of the parabola whose vertex is at negative 2, 3 and focus is at negative 4, 3. So to solve this easily, uh, we have to plot this point so that we can find the opening and the possible standard form. So, if we plot the points, so the vertex is at negative 2, 3, that is negative 2, 1, 2, 3. So, this is, will be the vertex and the focus is at negative 4, 3. That is 1, 2, 3 and 4, negative 4, 3. This is the focus. So, as you can see by inspection, the parabola will open to the left so if it opens to the left it is in the form y minus k squared equals negative 4p times x minus h we need first to find the value of p and the value of p is the distance from the vertex to the focus so we just count from the vertex so 1 2 so therefore p equals 2 units or you can subtract negative 2 and negative 4 so negative 2 minus negative 4 that is positive 2 so we have the the value of p of 2 and our vertex is at negative 2 3 so this is h and this is k we can now have the equation by substitution we have y our k is 3 so this is minus so minus 3 squared equals negative 4 times the value of p 2 times x our h is negative 2 that becomes positive so the standard equation will be y minus 3 squared equals negative 4 times 2 that is negative 8 times x plus 2. So this is our answer. Second equation, uh, second problem, we have find the equation of the parabola whose vertex is at 3, negative 5 and the directrix is y plus 8 equals 0. So the vertex is at 3, negative 5. And the directrix is y plus 5 equals 0. So y, or rather y plus 8. Okay, y plus 8 equals 0. Or this y plus 8 equals 0 can be written as y equals negative 8. So we have to plot the points and draw the line, the directrix. So the vertex is at 3, negative 5. That is 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is our vertex. Then y equals negative 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, 8. So this is our uh, directrix. So if this is the directrix and this is the vertex, what will be the opening of the parabola? We know that the directrix is always outside the parabola. Thus, it opens upward. Okay? So, if it opens upward, the parabola equation is in the form x minus h squared plus, or rather, equals, equals positive 4p times y minus k. So, we already have our h, which is 3, and k is negative 5. And the value of p will be the distance from the vertex to the directrix, and that is positive 5 or 5 units so from negative uh, rather 3 units so so negative 5 you go to 8, 8 so this is 1 2 3 so therefore p is equal to 3 or you can subtract uh, negative 5 and negative 8 here so negative 5 minus negative 8 that is positive 3 so by substitution equation will be x our h is positive 3, so minus 3 squared is equal to 4 times 3 times y. The k is negative 5, so plus 5. Therefore, the equation will be x minus 3 squared equals positive 12 y plus 5. Okay, so this is the standard equation. Problem number 3. So, find the equation of the parabola that passes through the point negative 1, 5 
and its vertex is at 1, 1 with a vertical axis of symmetry. By looking at the last condition, vertical axis of symmetry, this means the parabola may open upward or downward. To find out uh, the opening, whether it is upward or downward, we have to see the other condition. So you have to plot. So the vertex is at 1, 1. So we have this point. That's the vertex. And it passes through the point negative 1, 5. And that is negative 1. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's the point. So what will be the opening? So obviously, it opens upward like this. Okay, so if it opens upward, our equation is in the form x minus h squared equals 4p y minus k. But we do not have the value of uh, p. So the vertex is at 1, 1, and we have the point negative 1, 5. What we are going to do is to solve the, for the value of p here in this equation because, because we have the values x, h, y, and k. So, from the point, we have one, negative 1, 5, and our vertex, 1, 1. This is our h, this is our k, this is x, and this is y. We just substitute it here. So, we have x, negative 1, h is positive 1, so minus 1 squared equals 4p times y is 5, then k is 1. So, negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. Uh, squared then 4p 5 minus 1 4 so negative 2 squared is 4 then 16p so divide both sides by 16 therefore the value of p equals 4 over 16 so in lowest term 1 4 the value of p equals uh, 1 4 okay since we already have our p h and k we can now have our equation in the form x minus h squared equals 4p y minus k. Just substitute, so we have x, h is 1, so minus 1 squared equals 4 times the value of p, uh, 1 fourth times y minus k equals 1. That is x minus 1 squared equals 4 over 4, so cancel y minus 1. So this is our equation. Okay, uh, let's proceed with the last one. So find the equation of the parabola with its axis parallel to the y-axis, vertex at 2, negative 1, and passes through the point at uh, 3, 1. Okay, so we plot the points first. Uh, but... but uh, it is stated that the axis is parallel to the y-axis. This means that the axis of symmetry is vertical. So if it is vertical, it opens upward or downward. So let's see the opening. So we have uh, the vertex is 2, negative 1, 1, 2, negative 1. The vertex then passes through the point 3, 1, 3, 1. So what will be the opening of the parabola? If its, vertex, if its axis is parallel to the y-axis, so this is our y-axis, parallel, this means the axis of symmetry is also vertical, so upward or downward, but it passes through the point uh, 3, 1, so thus it is opening upward, so like this. So that's in the form, again, x minus h squared equals 4p y minus k. Same process with the third example. We have our vertex at 2, negative 1, and we have point 3, 1. This is our h, k, x, y. Substitute. So we have x is 3 minus h, 2. So minus 2 squared is equal to 4p times the value of y, which is 1, and k is negative 1. So negative 1, that becomes plus 1. 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 squared is 1, then 4p times 1 plus 1, 2. So 1 equals 4p times 2, 8p. Therefore, p equals 1 over 8. 1, 8. Okay? So, we have the vertex, 2, negative 1, 
and our p is 1 over 8. Substituting this in the equation, we have x minus h squared equals 4p y minus k. Our equation will be x, our h is 2, so minus 2 squared equals 4 times 1, 8 times y minus k, so negative 1, so that becomes plus 1. So we have x minus 2 squared equals 4 over 8, so 1 half times y plus 1. So this will be the equation.